This is a Game Boy camera. In case you've never seen one, this is it. It's literally a camera that plugs into your Game Boy. It's pretty straightforward. It's also the smallest camera of 1999, apparently. It shoots 128 per 112 black and white pictures using its really, really small sensor, and it has a memory of 30 photos. Now, this is pretty limited and it's a pain to shoot photos with because you need to get the perfect lighting and the perfect contrast but I love it for this reason. Its limitations are really interesting as an artistic challenge, putting you in a really difficult situation to get just the right shot. But today we are not going to talk about this, we are going to talk about using it as a webcam. Now, we don't only need this thing to shoot video, which it wasn't clearly meant to do, we are going to make this thing record video on a live feed because we are going to be using this as a webcam. This will work as a webcam on any program that does support a webcam. You can even use this on Zoom to attend a virtual classroom. We are actually making useful COVID content here. <laughs> and to do this, I have a plan, a really bodgy plan, but that's what makes it fun. So uh, this is a Super Game Boy, which is basically the entire hardware of a Game Boy in a cartridge. Well, except the screen, because we don't need it since this thing is a cartridge that plugs into a SNES slash Super Famicom. I have a Super Famicom, I've paid $5 for it, there's a video about it here on my channel. And using this combo of a Game Boy camera, a Super Game Boy and a Super Famicom, we can actually get a live feed of the Game Boy camera on our TV, which is just awesome. What we now need is a way to turn this TV live feed into a USB webcam one. And to do this, let's introduce the easier cap. Now, easier than what, you might ask? That's a nice question. This thing is a clone of the easy cap, which is a Chinese capture card that actually was pretty okay for when it came out. But unfortunately, this thing is a clone and it has a really crappy macro silicon MS2106 chip in it in place of the original STK1160 chip the easy cap has. And what that all means is that this thing can only record or stream 720 per 480, 25 frames per second footage, which is a pain in the butt if you want to stream games, but for our project where we are going to need 5 frames per second tops, it's pretty okay. It does not work with my desktop computer for some reason, but it does work with every single other device I have in my house. And that's because this thing is UVC compliant, so it just is plug and play with everything using a well-known standard but my desktop just doesn't want to take it, so we are going to use my laptop for all of this. Now, connecting the Game Boy camera to the Super Game Boy, to the Super Famicom, to the easier cap to the computer does produce a pretty decent image, but as you can see, it has a really big border around it, so uh, we're going to use the OBS crop feature to fix that, and that's it, we now have a webcam feed. It works. So let's actually try and use this to, well, do something. Okay, so we have our Super Famicom here with our Game Boy camera plugged in and it's sitting on a box because I didn't, I couldn't really get a tripod for this and so I needed to incline it to actually, you know, shoot me. And we have a light here, we have our God Rays. <laughs> All of this is plugged into my computer via a RCA cable, which is here that goes into our easier cap capture card which is here but let me show you with a better light okay so we have this we also have plugged in a controller to our computer since we are going to test it using a emulator and we're going to play super mario Bros. so that's me here so yeah let's actually try and test this yo okay so you now should be able to see me which is great uh this is me I'm going at like 5 FPS if I'm lucky, but yeah, we're gonna play some Super Mario Brothers and test this thing on actual gameplay territory. So I've plugged in my um, controller here to my laptop and we're gonna play a game like a Twitch streamer will do. I don't know how many Twitch streamers do play Super Mario Brothers. I hope a lot of them do because it's a great game and I love it. I've played this a lot when I was like a kid, 
because um, I grew up with Famiclones and Famiclones have this game in basically every possible version even just completely random ones <laughs> but yeah uh, let, let's see how this works also I'm sorry if my sound is crappy but uh, my laptop only has two USB ports and I had to decide whether to plug in a controller or a microphone and I decided to do the the first one since um, I mean crappy audio actually goes with this setup because we got a crappy webcam and if I had a really good sounding audio uh, that would ruin the experience you need that crappy 1999 experience you know that Guinness World Record smallest camera ever experience <laughs> so yeah um, let's actually try and do the minus word glitch I will fail instantly probably but I'm I'm gonna use save states and cheat in that case because I'm using an emulator and I'm an adult so I can cheat responsibly and do this um, without uh, feeling bad <laughs> okay um, let's actually go here to the hand of the level but for now the camera seems to work fine it's it's working okay my lighting isn't the best but it's it's working even with this lighting which is great that's all i wanted from this um okay so let's actually save the game because i don't want to redo all of this again okay let's see if i can get this on the first try uh no <laughs> Okay, okay, I did this. Okay, okay, okay. So we are in the minus world. It's completely useless. It's just something you can do. But we did it, just like this Game Boy camera thing. So uh, let's wrap this up and go to the conclusions of this video. <laughs> okay, so would I recommend you do this? No, it's not useful at all. It's just a proof of concept. But if you want to do this, for fun or because you can do it and you want to see how it works just try it's pretty okay as a fun project but not really usable if you have a better way of doing this please let me know in the comments it would be really nice to you know get something like a custom board to take the Game Boy camera signal and get a better frame rate but that's not something i'm currently capable of doing anyway i hope you liked the video thanks for watching and let's catch you in the next video or on twitter or whatever you want basically